So we just finished talking a little bit about the dimension styles and getting a dimension style to work that's annotative and show you a little bit about what annotative does. I just created this dimensions line here and one of the things that I have in my dimension style is that I have a length for my extension lines so that they're always a quarter inch long. If I didn't want them to be a fixed length I could make them, I'll show you, I'll turn this off and then anything with that dimension style will go full length with whatever space you have designated here. But I think that drawings generally are cleaner if the extension lines aren't going throughout your drawing and especially in a schematic phase which is what we're kind of working in today. The drawings will be cleaner that way. So let me go back to the dimension style just by hitting D. That'll get dimension style dialog box open up again. Modify and I'm just going to turn this back to its quarter inch. Okay and close. So I have that dimension string and like I say it was created annotative. If you go to properties, if you want to go to the properties menu you can either go and hit control 1 and turn that on and off or you can go to the ribbon here where they have a view tab and go to properties and you'll see I have spaces fairly limited in what we're doing today so with a single screen a lot of times people will be working on two screens and you can have your properties menu open and the properties menu will be on your other screen so you have one screen for drawing and then your other screen is kind of like an information screen where you have all of the data that's particular to that item. So I have the dimension string on right now and you can see if I scroll down here that it is annotative it says yes and the annotative scale is at quarter inch and that's just because the quarter inch is what I drew it at. So now if I have a line you draw a line here just so that it's a dimensioning something and you can see in this properties that the length of that line is 22 feet 6 inches and 23 30 seconds which rounds to 3 quarters. So I'm going to change this now and I'm going to make the annotative scale so that it's an eighth of an inch. Now when I go and I dimension something and again when I dimension something I type dim which gets me into a dimensioning mode and then I, I'll type hor for horizontal or you can type vertical for vertical and now it's asking me uh, the dimension text is correct and I assume that it is. If it wasn't, I could type something like equal would be an alternate thing. But since I want to put the dimension in there, I'm going to leave it at 17 and 3 eighths. Something that people don't realize necessarily is that you can overwrite AutoCAD text or for the dimension strings. If you go here, let's see where the text overwrite is. The text overwrite here. So I could make it, you know, let's say I just wanted this to be 17 feet. Now this is going to be really annoying to other people that might be working in this drawing because now this will always say 17 feet no matter what I do to change it. So to give you the cure for that problem you would highlight it again and you come down here and in the text override you would just put in the greater sign and then the less than sign and you return to what the dimension length is so now it will change back to and be the dimension of where it was. Another thing that a lot of people need sometimes is they'll pull a dimension off to one side and say something gets a little larger and it doesn't need to be off to that side anymore. And what you can do is use the command dim edit d-i-m-e-d-i-t dim edit and home is the default and if you just hit home you'll click it and your text will move to where it's supposed to be in the center and it will stay there if you are to move it. Unclick that line, show you that it will change again. So here's a dimension at quarter inch and a dimension at eighth inch and it might not be that intuitive to think that going from a quarter inch to an eighth inch the lines need to get or the text needs to get bigger but as you're zooming farther away you have to get larger to be able to be seen. An eighth inch is twice as large as a quarter inch and if I wanted to since I'm in eighth inch scale but I have this button turned on and this is an annotative button that turns on and off things that are visible in the scale. So right now I'm at eighth inch scale. By having this on anything that's annotative is always going to appear at whatever scale it was created at if it's not in the scale that is active. So this scale was created at quarter inch scale, but there's no eighth inch scale, so it can't show up at eighth inch scale because it's not part of it. If I click this button, 
this is going to turn off now. But if I wanted to turn on as an eighth inch scale, I just click here, go to my properties menu that's open, and I'm going to go to annotative scale, go to the dialog box, and I'm going to add the eighth inch scale, hit OK. And now since there's an eighth inch scale for its reference, it's going to show up at eighth inch scale. Mm -hmm.